You're watching a Titan Medical Center production. All right, so this is incredible. It is available for everybody in the United States to get online, talk to you, call you, find out all the information they need to at Titan Medical. That's correct. Real simple, real easy. They can go on the website, check out the therapies, check out what these therapies are gonna possibly do for them as far as that goes, what's in these different therapies. And then if they have any questions, they can just call or text us. It's real simple and real easy. And we're gonna walk them through the process of becoming a Titan Medical Center patient. Whether you're going to another clinic and you want to switch over, we've never done anything like this before and you want to, you want to really want to improve yourself. What I like is that, and we talked about this, <laughs> this knucklehead, as dads, you know, we want to raise these guys the best we possibly can. We want to be able to tussle still. We want to be able to uh, hang out. And I got a five-year-old and you got a savage 13, 14-year-old. 14, I know, it's and crazy. You have to stay with, now I'm a much older guy than you. And I'm sitting here thinking, Holy moly, how am I gonna be able to hang with him when he's 14, 15? And in the last three months has shown me what is possible. So the last three months being truly optimized to be my very best with Titan Medical has set me up to win. And it's so cool, it's like how the joints feel, how the body feels, how the skin is looking, how the energy is. Uh, and I got a much younger girl um, than me too, and I gotta keep up with her in Absolutely. all aspects of life. Absolutely. So, from me to you, man, uh, yeah. Titan Medical has set me up yeah. that the, uh, I guess I guess we could say the haters are not gonna get rid of me anytime oh, soon. No, those trolls are just gonna try to go overtime on this one for sure. <laughs> you know what? It's all about improving quality of life. Whatever, if you're 43 years old like me, 56 like you, but if you have a family, you wanna keep up with the family. You want to make sure you're taking care of the wife, the girlfriend, whoever it is. And if you have kids, you want to be able to be active with the kids, yeah. be able to run around with the kids and not go out of breath or be like, I'm not, I can't even go outside because I don't feel good at all. Or these people are just lost motivation because maybe their hormones are down and have no motivation to go outside and do anything or be active in any way, shape or form. It's a shame. They have to accept what they want in life and be realistic with themselves. They can't sit there and go, well, we all age, we all get older, and then that's the way life is. Yeah. If that's the person's mindset, then unfortunately nobody can really help them. But if they are those individuals going, maybe there's something that can help me, here's your first step. Yes. Make the phone call. Get on the site, sign up. That's where you go. What's up, guys? We're back with another Titan Medical Movie Review just for you. And you know what? We got a special guest. Obviously, I have my beautiful wife, Sharice, here with me. Hey, everybody. And I have my brother-in-law, which is his birthday, Neil. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Thank Neil. Thank you. So this is a great time. We went out for his birthday. We actually went over to his house to eat some cake. And at that point, Sharice surprised him with tickets to Venom in the car. So he didn't even know. So we went over there, and like he was going to plan on going to do something else. And Sharice like, hey, you need to come to Venom with us. And at that point, Peter didn't want to come, and Neil talked Peter into coming, yeah, which he didn't want to status. be in this movie review, but shout out to you, Peter, because you're in it <laughs> by spirit, okay? That's okay, you're in the Corvette, we all so, know that. <laughs> <laughs> so today we got to see Venom, right? The Last Dance. This was a trilogy breaking down Venom, who is a Spider-Man uh, villain, anti-hero. I mean, he's done so many different parts in comics, so he's a lethal protector all the way around. And we had, um, some great performances, obviously by the main character in this, Tom Hardy, oh, multiple comic roles and a whole bunch of other roles yeah. we just love. So he came back, trilogy, awesome. We got to see some of the other symbiotes in this movie. We got to see Noel, who is the King of Darkness, who this guy is gonna be a major villain in the MCU, it looks like. And we gotta remember like, Venom is a Sony product associated with Marvel because Sony owns all the characters of Spider-Man and the villains. So at that point, we really need Marvel to step in and start taking some creativity and start taking the creative directive, I guess. And, yeah. Yeah, I mean, right? Yeah. I mean, it was good to a certain extent. Do I think it could have been better? Yes. Do I think Carnage was a little better? Maybe. 
And I was looking at Rotten Tomatoes. Actually, the first uh, Venom did 30 at Rotten, Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, Carnage got 67, and then this one scored at a 40 so far. So we will see, because you know what? Opening night was last night, tonight's Friday. We'll see how the weekend box office do for the money, because it's not about the critics. Mm -hmm. It's about the fans, yeah, or the fans. people going to see the movies. Yeah. Care less about what critics say anymore. They're all getting paid, so it doesn't matter. Except for us, we're doing this free for you guys, so you guys understand. <laughs> so at that point, I'm gonna give uh, I'm gonna give Dunham Last Dance. I'm gonna give it a 3.2 out of a a 4.0 scale. Oh, it's always a five, isn't That's it? That's right. Yeah, it's it always a five. five. It's mm. always a five scale. I'll give it a 3.7. Okay. 3.7. That's 3 .7. what I'll do. Yeah. Okay. I think it could have been a little bit better. Okay, what, what do you like think it. about it? 3.71. I'll just add another decimal on that. <laughs> okay. Favorite parts? Yeah, what was your favorite part? Uh, I think it's just a consistent sense of uh, humor. Yeah. Yeah. Always has a good sense of humor. Yeah. Um, it's just a just a good story. Yeah. It's a good story. You don't need anything crazy in I think any of the Marvel movies. No, I think. Yeah. If yeah. you're just entertained the entire time, I think it accomplishes its goal. Yeah. yeah. I agree. I, I think that Carnage was better. It's just my personal opinion. I think Sony needs to give up the rights um, and let Marvel take back over. I agree with He's that. He's going to MCU. Um, anyways, but that's not going to happen. I would give this movie roughly like a 2.9. always going to be um, I would go lower, but I really do like Tom Hardy a lot. I'm a, I'm a Tom Hardy fan. Um, but. And that's why he got this 2.9 for me. But yeah, no, it could have been better. I think that um, the movie was a little fluffy for Venom. It could have been a little darker because uh, Venom's a little bit darker, I guess. Yeah. And my favorite part was when all the symbiotes come out at the end and you see all different kinds of characters. I, I did that. Like was that. my favorite part of that, the movie. That was the, I think that was the highlight of the film. Yeah. Was all the other symbiotes. Favorite. But that was the thing, like, kind of used them and threw them away really quick, right? I mean, kind of went through them really I fast. Can't tell the story. I didn't tell the story. I didn't say what happened to him. You know, <laughs> other creatures were hunting him down and, you know, chewing him up. But, you know, you didn't hear that from me. Spoiler review. That didn't happen. But you got to see the movie to know if it really did happen. So at that point, <laughs> 3.7 for me, 3.71 for my brother-in-law, Neil, and Sharice comes in with the 2.9. Yeah. Okay. So you heard it from us. Now you got to go see it for yourselves, especially if you're a comic book fan, you like Spider-Man, if you're old like me, or you're young, you're gonna like Spider-Man. So at that point, Venom is like the number one, I would think. Super dope. One of the one of the, the top villains or yeah. anti-heroes in uh in the Spider universe, Spider-Verse, I guess. So go see it for yourself. Check it out. Don't listen to what we say. Go take Actually, your family. I mean, Sasha, what do you think? Sasha I give it a 5.0 because I got to come to the theaters and eat popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> the 5.0 from Sasha. Bye. So we will see you <laughs> next time at the movies. Thank you for joining us for another Titan Medical Review just for you. We'll see you next week. See you then. Let me introduce you to a new tool to add to your tool belt for the quest of optimal health and wellness. Let's talk about Hexarellin. Hexarellin is a new peptide therapy that Titan Medical Center is offering to our patients. What does it do? It raises your growth hormone levels. What are the benefits of that? I don't know. Losing a few pounds, gaining a little bit of lean muscle there, sleep patterns better, elasticity of the skin good. Mm, we're winning here, right? What about recovery, revitalization, all the anti-aging properties go along with it. GHRH peptide hexarelin has got your name on it if you're looking for these benefits. So call or text today so we can help you feel the optimal health that you've always wanted. I came with these pipes but I'm leaving with a lot more. You know what's going on with the holidays? Eating. And you know what eating's gonna do? Put a whole bunch of fat on your body you don't want. How are you gonna combat this? Call Titan Medical Center. Men suffering from low T or low testosterone. For males as they age, natural testosterone levels gradually decline, leading to a host of physical and mental changes that can significantly impact their quality of life and the way they feel. Testosterone replacement therapy or hormone replacement therapy has become an increasingly common treatment for men seeking to combat the effects of this natural hormonal shift. As men reach their 30s and beyond, their testosterone levels can drop as much as 1% every single year, resulting in diminished muscle mass, decreased bone density, fatigue, reduced libido, and even mood disturbances and depression. 
without intervention. This hormonal imbalance can lead to be a debilitating condition known as andropause, the male equivalent of menopause. Testosterone replacement and hormone replacement therapy can help revitalizing the body and the mind as well. With personalized care and close monitoring by our qualified healthcare professionals and team, men can experience a rejuvenating boost in energy, improved sexual function, better muscle tone, and an overall enhanced sense of well-being. So any men out there that are suffering from low testosterone, if you have any of these symptoms, please call or text Titan Medical Center today at 727-389-3220 or visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. Meet Tim. Tim was living a very unhealthy lifestyle, making poor food choices and feeling down until he came to Titan Medical Center. Tim really turned his life around and started exercising, taking his Titan Medical Center therapies, losing weight, and getting fit. If you or someone you know is interested in becoming the best version of themselves, call or text us at 727-389-3220. Feel, look, perform your best with Titan Medical Center. I understand there's some something that you have that's less than a hundred dollars that you can get um, and it helps burn body fat and a, a lecture of stuff talk to me sure if you want to do the most inexpensive route with tight medical center and you want weight loss you want a more better mental clarity and a little bit of an euphoric feeling you're going to want to go with our eca stack plus real ephedrine hcl caffeine aspirin b12 and chromium with those people out there that are allergic to aspirin don't worry we can take that out and make it custom for you so you guys can get all the benefits of it great energy weight loss in a fork feeling feeling all good ready to rock and roll no more other things you'll need this is definitely the way to go and the most inexpensive route i think for weight loss are you ready to become titan strong call or text titan medical center today at 727-389-3220 and start on your journey to becoming the best version of yourself are you lacking that confidence that you've always wanted don't feel like your old self well you know what titan medical center can set you over the blood test to see what's going on inside your body to get you right and get you back on track to feeling like your best version of you the holidays are coming. What does that mean? Excessive overeating. What's that going to do to you? Put fat all over your body in places you don't want it. Or it's going to make you feel bad about yourself and you don't want that either. So what can you do to combat this? One, we're going to eat smaller portions. Two, we're going to exercise more for that calorie intake. Three, we're going to have amazing self-control. Or four, you're going to take advantage of the Titan Medical GLP-1 specials of semi-glutide or tears epitide. $50 off our level one packages and $100 off our level two packages. Don't you want to feel good, look good, and get that extra step to the New Year's before everybody else does? You don't want to be those fat, buttered, slaughtered turkeys, right? You want to be a true Titan. So take advantage of this and be a better version of you. Call or text us at 727-389-3220. And let's get through these holidays together the Titan way. What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. Every week, me and Sharice are bringing you guys these hot topics, tricks, tips, and will hopefully help you guys out in your marriage, your relationship, or future relationship. Okay? And every week, we cover all kinds of different topics. Um, things that hopefully will help you guys out. And we might have went through some of these different things or have incorporated some of these tricks to help our relationship we got lots of tricks or we've definitely learned from other people's relationships as well right yeah don't and, do that yeah don't do that <laughs> or you know maybe incorporate that yeah. there's always good learning experiences out there and every day is a learning experience true and if you're in a relationship every day is a new day for your relationship okay and that relationship can go either positive or negative so you know we always talk about some things that hopefully will make things more positive but you need to know what to look for if things are negative, right? If you're in a relationship that's a negative relationship or a marriage that's possibly not doing as good as it possibly could or just wasn't like it used to be, at that point, you got to look for these different signs and then you're going to have to create some action. 
So let's talk about some of these different signs, all right? Because there's a good abundance of these things, but there's a couple key ones I think we should focus in on, mm -hmm. right? One, um, sexless, all right? I think that's a, it's a big one, right? We brought this up on plenty of occasions yep. that you must do your due diligence yep. and do your job. You got to do the duties. You got to do the duties. It's that's just right. like cleaning the dishes and doing laundry. Yep. You just add it in, you yep. know? It's just one of those things. Yep. You gotta add it in. Yep. Whether you want to, you don't want to. Maybe it's great. Maybe it's not. Maybe, you know, your kids are outside listening on the door. Oh, jeez. This is fun. Or you're, you know, maybe an in-law's outside listening on the yep. door. Who knows? Yep. But you still gotta make it happen. Yep. It's very important. I mean, it, 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 it's, it really is like a really, it's, it's a, a connection. Part, right? It's a part. It's, it's a, a physical, connection. It's a physical connection. You, you should have the physical connection because believe it or not, you know, the day goes by so fast and you could just, boom, just goes the whole day and you're like, wow, I didn't even get to hug my husband today or wow, I didn't even get to kiss you today. I think that happened to us not not that long ago yeah. where we went the whole day and then John finally told me, I think it was around like four o'clock and he's like, I didn't get a kiss today. And I usually stop in the morning, you know, no matter how busy I am, because I'm busy. I'm busier than any human being on yeah. the planet, okay? Yeah. I, I was just boop, 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 and then, you know, just kind of got in the car and just raced to work and, you know, it was just one of those things. But he's like, hey, I didn't get a kiss today. Like, what happened? I usually stop at least in the garage. Yeah. And I'll be like, hey, uh, I love you. And give him a kiss. But that's a little tiny things that count, right? Yeah. It F means a lot. Touch. Yeah. It means a lot. Physical touch is, is big. You know, sex is, is a one part of the relationship. It's not everything in the relationship. No. It's not. It never mm, is. No. You know, that that's why those lustful relationships in the beginning, like when you first meet somebody, you're very attracted to them. You might have sex with them. And at that point... Um, it wears off because there's no other substance to that relationship, emotional attachment um, or anything like that. Like a mental connection yeah, or something. You, you start know? talking to them and there is no common interest. Yeah, and then you're bored and then it's just move on time, <laughs> Exactly. Right? But once you, you've established that mental connection, you guys have been past this, you guys are in a relationship, obviously it's not just uh, a physical relationship, but you have to incorporate that physical touch, right, in one way or another. And that's give me kisses, give me hugs, and then... Having that time where you guys are going to be intimate together, right? And planning that if you have to, do it. But if you're at the stage where you guys aren't having any alone time or adult time mm -hmm. and you guys aren't planning this or you guys aren't worrying about it, there could be an issue on one side or both. Right. So that's that's something you guys should look for. Yep. Two, constant criticism. So you don't want to constantly criticize your partner, mm -hmm. right? Um you're, you're making them feel lower than you. You're criticizing everything they do. Your job sucks. You, you have this janky career. You're dressing horrible. Uh, you know, like all these different things. Like, you know, you criticize this. You made me this food. It sucks, right? This is, this is the worst pizza or steak oh or chicken that the, I've ever had in my throw life. throw the food back You know, on you need to head. take some, some, some tips or, 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 <laughs> or critique you know, uh, Mary over there. She can cook me a hell of a steak. Oh, you know? she can, can she? <laughs> okay. Let's see what Mary can do for you. <laughs> you know, that, that's, you know that, that's another big one, uh, right? And then, you know, and then not spending any time together. And I'm not talking about intimate time. I'm talking about your, like, date time. Like, time where... Hang out time. Yeah, you guys are... Just... Enjoying each out. other's company, right? Yeah. Um, and you guys are there, and you guys are solely focusing on each other, not multitasking when you guys are together, um, like on the phone. It's so hard to do nowadays, too, right? Because you have this device, and it's constantly going off with either a phone call, yep. a text message, yep. an email notification, yep. or one of your little Twitter, you know, medias. TikTok, whatever, notifications, Facebook, Instagram, whatever social media platforms are out there. Yep. One of those little dings go off, right? Yep. Put your phone on silent. I swear it's not going to kill you. And even if you're a business owner, it's not going to kill you. Yeah. I don't care who you are or how important you are. It's not going to kill you, even if it's just an hour. Right. You'd be surprised how much an hour would do. You might find out, let's just say, in that hour you guys are just having a good time talking about different things. You might find out that they're having an issue at work that you guys haven't even talked about because right. you guys have been so busy and just going about your day. Right. And you're like, wow, I didn't even know. Like you had something going on. Or, you know, let's just say they have a health issue going on. You might bring that up in a conversation. I mean, it doesn't have to be a serious conversation, but you guys might stumble upon topics, mm -hmm. good and bad, mm -hmm. that you may not even know that's going on because you guys don't dedicate that time to really communicate, chat, have a good time, enjoy each other, you know, that kind of stuff. Like what goes right along with that? wanting to spend time with your partner yeah. because there's couples out there that we've ran across like 
man, I don't even want to be nowhere near around him. Like, I have people that have literally real? bought bought a house for their significant other to live in outside of their own house. Yeah. I'm like, that's kind of weird, right? And they're like, no, it works for us. And I'm like, okay. I mean, whatever works, you guys will live in separate homes, but you know, whatever works is fine with you. I couldn't, I personally couldn't do it. Yeah. So, um, I, I, you know, whatever floats your boat. However, um, do I think that's healthy for the relationship? Probably not. You know, I mean, different people have different things that they want to do in the relationship and it's, you got to make sure that you're spending that time and you're wanting to spend time generally with your partner. Right. And um, if you don't, you might want to just think why, why? Yeah. Why? Highlight why it. That? Cause I mean, why is maybe it? it's, Oh, they irritate me. Well, you know, they well, really what, do, what do they do to irritate you? Can yeah. you guys talk it out? Like these are things you have to address. There's the guys. There's only so long that you can sweep things under the rug, right? Because the rug's like about this big, right? Or bottle up those emotions, right? And the bottle's still only this big. Again, right. like I said, you, there's only so much that fits under the carpet or in the bottle. And as soon as it gets full, there's no more that can fit, and right. you're eventually going to just get fed up with each other. Right. And if you truly love someone, which it's, I think like it's hard to find good, true. Yeah like deep love nowadays because nobody really allows it to happen right you something goes wrong in the relationship and moving on or you know i didn't like this little tiny thing about you moving on you know nobody ever gives anybody a chance anymore it's just moving on the next moving on the next moving on the next i know when i was growing up you know it was like weird if your parents were divorced right like if your parents were divorced people like looked at you and your parents are not together what's wrong with you like well why why did what's your family why why are they like that now it's like if your parents are still married, it's weird. Yeah, you're the minority now. You're the point. minority now. Yeah. It's like... It's, That's the weird thing. Like, your parents are still together? They're still together? Like, they've yeah. been together for... for 15 years? Yeah, 20 God, years, God, that's, so, that's so strange. I had, like, three moms. So, yeah, that's very... You know, it's important to try. Right. Try. You know, um, the other thing is, is, you know, being faithful, right? That's another big oh, one. Man. A lot of people, they're putting the wayside anymore. It's not really thought about or I guess the degree that it used to mm-hmm. um, just because people are out there sliding your DMs or <laughs> you're not happy DMs. with something that your partner did then you think you're going to go out and do this or it's going to make you happy mm. um, or get even yeah that's yeah, another that's one that's a bad know? one it's that's a like a whole one. episode it's a bad yeah it's definitely that's a, bad a whole one. episode we'll definitely talk about we that we definitely one, cover that sure. one we definitely need to cover that for sure <laughs> I agree with you one yeah don't get even uh, never good <laughs> yeah that, that's never any good okay? no you, know? you always want to have the upper hand man alright so if you have the upper hand keep the upper hand just let them make it up to you for sure let them catch up you know for it, sure it, it'll work out if they want to keep making it up to you to catch up if yeah. once you lose the upper hand your deck of cards is gone yeah, yeah you know there's no there's no flush for you two wrongs don't make a right no never, never does never will never has just is what it is right yeah. so you just want to make sure that you're looking at these different and remember things. guys i mean ultimately uh, me personally I'm, i mean the whole planet knows I, i'm probably the most jealous woman on the planet i at least i can admit it you know but i am very jealous right so and i've always been jealous john now accepts me for who i am which <laughs> i love him for this right but anyways cheating can be in so many different forms right True. so it, it, you have to look at it like this because some people might not think something is cheating so for instance i'll use the, the little dm thing as an example let's just say you're talking to some girl in your facebook messenger or ig messenger or whatever it might be maybe it's not even like an intimate mm-hmm. conversation it's just like hey what you doing how how's it going blah 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 like to me personally my personal opinion That, to me, is not necessarily a form of cheating, but good enough to call it cheating, right? Like, why are you talking to this person? For what? Mm -hmm. Like, what? no, there's no new friends for you on Facebook or Instagram. Nobody, there's no reason to talk to them, right? right? And then, you know, that's how I feel about it. Some people, and we'll bring it up, they think cheating was watching porn, right? Right. Uh, me personally, I don't think that's cheating. I would much yeah. prefer that my husband would go watch porn over going to meet somebody at a hotel room. You know, whatever it is. Maybe mm-hmm. you're, maybe there's something that you're not doing that he catches on there. And that's just the TV. Now, however, there's webcam girls, right? All this other fun stuff. That's cheating. So I guess you guys are going to have to really lay out what's considered okay and mm-hmm. what's not considered mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. so that everybody's on the same page and everybody's happy. Yep. Because once you cross the line, then like coming back, is it's hard. There's got to be boundaries that are set up. And when you set those boundaries up, you stay within those boundaries. Now, sometimes people think that they're going to be okay with some boundaries, right? And then the partner goes to those boundaries. And then at that point, 
you realize I don't feel okay with this. Wow. Well, then you got to communicate, and then you got to at least resolve the issue and say, "Listen, gotta talk I really about wasn't it. okay with this. Like um, I thought it was, but not really. Like going forth, <laughs> like I don't think that you know, I want to do this anymore. I don't want you to do this anymore. And at that point, then they got to respect that, and you guys got to kind of draw back that line to where you guys are both happy each with other you, right? at a halfway point. It's yeah. not always for you or always for him or yeah. whatever it might be. There's got to be a halfway point where yeah. both of you guys are happy, right? Yeah. Don't just be like, it's my way all the time or it's your way all the time. It's yeah. got to be like there's got to be a halfway point. Now, if there's some things when you, when you start battling things, right, and it's not that big of a deal to you, but you just originally thought, like, I don't want to do it like this. But it's not that big of a deal, deal with you and it's a real big deal to your partner. Sometimes you got to give in, right? And you give in to them and, you know, you let them have their way to a certain extent. As long as you're okay with it, you know, it's not like – De- devastating of what's going to happen, you know, and then Ruin you your them, life, <laughs> make them real happy. And then at that point, you know, maybe they'll do that for you exactly. and reciprocate down the road where, for sure. you know, they might not agree with it, you know, to a certain extent, but it, it's not the end of the world. And then they're like, you know what, go ahead and do it. If this really makes you happy, I'm, I'm here to support you 110%. Mm-hmm. I think that's what a lot of people they are missing these days, right? Right. They don't support their partner 110%. Communication. And, and communication draws back to that where you guys are talking about things you know, amicably and, and, and civilly and, and like, you know, mature adults mm-hmm. and you're not, you know, holding grudges or, mm. you know, you're, you're saying one thing, but you really don't mean, mean it. it. You know, that's the other thing out there. Yeah. That, that makes no sense because your partner's going off what you say. And then if he thinks that, or, or she thinks that, you know, all right, cool. They're cool with this. And then you do it, and then they're they're mad at you and flipping out at you. I'm like, why did you do it? Like, listen, you told me I could do this. I thought it was okay. Like, no, it's not okay, you know. And then, and then you're like fighting about it. And at that point, you got to resolve that. So just make sure you guys are are clearly communicating honestly. Be clear about what you do and do not want. Don't got to be brutal, but just make sure you're clear and to the point and very honest and transparent about these yes. things. And then as the partner. You're accepting it, and you guys are moving forward. So these are some different things to look for red flag-wise or maybe help you guys out in the future, maybe not to do or to do, just circumstances of whatever it is. Or what to look for. Yeah, just look for these different things, and then that will hopefully help you guys' relationship be a successful relationship because that's sure. ultimately what you want. There's going to be highs and lows in every relationship, but you don't want dramatic relationships. You don't want to have to be fighting all the time. Um, you know, just – roll with the punches to a certain degree but make sure you guys are both happy too because that's what ultimately comes down to you guys being happy and you guys being in a a strict committed relationship with each other and not everybody outside okay (laughs) so um that's cupid's corner for this week guys i hope you guys like the topics that we're bringing to you guys every sunday here on abc 11 a.m um if you guys are interested dm us different topics you guys would like us to cover or maybe some questions you guys can always check out our awesome content on facebook instagram look up at type medical or at type medical center or youtube with all this great content and more just go to youtube and type in type medical center and you guys will find us all our great videos and everything we can possibly do for you so we'll see you guys next week 11 a.m on abc if not Hit your DVR button. You guys can watch it later or check out YouTube. All right, guys. I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you guys next week for another Cupid's Corner. See you then. Thanks, guys.